So I'm out here in the woods looking for mushrooms and today I'm looking for a very specific mushroom. I'm looking for lion's mane. Uh, to be honest, it's not actually lion's mane though because the typical lion's mane mushroom that you might find at the grocery store or that you use in supplements is something called Heresium arenaceus. And unfortunately, Heresium arenaceus uh, doesn't actually grow here, but what does grow here are two other mushrooms, one called Heresium americanum and the other one called Heresium coralloides, or coralloids, depending on how you actually pronounce that. So Heresium americanum is also known as the bear's head tooth, and Heresium coralloides is also known as the coral tooth fungus. So two mushrooms in the Heresium genus uh, that have a lot of the same properties, but they do look quite a bit different than the typical Heresium arenaceus or the typical lion's mane, but still it would be really fun to find either of those two mushrooms um, because they are edible and they are delicious. So I'm gonna be looking around here in the woods. They typically grow on dead logs, so look for like well-decayed logs that are lying on the ground and in low-lying areas and kind of late in the fall or late in the summer which is what it is right now yeah i'm basically just poking around i haven't seen anything yet but i am excited because i'm even wearing my lion's mane t-shirt so if that's not a good luck charm for finding lion's mane mushroom in the woods i don't know what is so let's uh, take a look around and see what we can see what are you finding Ooh, this is cool. I mean, this isn't a lion's mane, but this is called the ghost pipe. But yeah, this is a really neat thing that you see popping out of the ground all over the place this time of year. Now, probably the much more efficient way to do this uh, would be for me to find some lion's mane or find some bear's head tooth and then start filming the video as if I haven't found any yet and go pretend to find some. But I actually haven't found any yet. I'm literally poking around in the woods, uh, seeing what I can find. And I haven't seen any this year, but lots of people locally have found them. And I know this because checking on the local Facebook groups for the Mycological Society in my area, the Alberta Mycological Society, and another one called the Alberta Mushroom Gang. And really, if you're looking for wild mushrooms or if you want to find mushrooms in your area, that's the best place to hang out because mushrooms are so regionally specific. Not only the types of mushrooms that grow in your area, but also the seasonality, when they're growing, what areas in your area that they're actually growing. I'm really optimistic that I'll find some. In fact, I'm just gonna will it, will it into the universe that I'm gonna find some lion's mane coming up right away. Lion's mane, like a lot of other gourmet edible mushrooms, uh, are a saprophytic mushroom. So similar to oysters, for example, they grow on dead or dying matter. Lion's mane are actually really easy to grow. You can just grow them on hardwood sawdust, no problem at all. Um, and yeah, so when you're looking for them in the woods, you look for similar substrates. So they'll be growing on dead or dying logs or hardwood, sometimes out of the wounds of living trees, um, but typically on decayed, fallen over logs. Here's another mushroom that is also not lion's mane, and I actually don't know what this is. There's about 25 or so edible species in Alberta um, that are all pretty easy to identify, but there's probably 25,000 uh, species that are not easy to identify and I have no clue what they are. But that's actually kind of the fun part about mushroom hunting like this, is even though it looks like I'm just kind of walking about in the rain, I'm learning something every single day that I'm out here, looking for different species of mushrooms, trying to figure out what they are. So even if we don't find any lion's mane, even if we don't find what we're looking for, uh, it's still cool because you never know what you are gonna find and you never know what you're gonna learn. What was that, buddy? Otis just saw a pheasant get brushed out of the woods and fly up into a tree, and I think that might be the first one he's ever seen. So he's pretty excited. So this is not a heresium species, although superficially it kind of looks like one. Um, this one's well decayed as well, so it's been here for a while, but this is the crown-tipped coral and when it's fresh, when it's new, it is edible, um, and it looks quite beautiful. But like I said, this one, uh, it's definitely seen better days. This one's definitely too old, but uh, caught my eye for a second because I thought maybe, just maybe, it was a heresium. <laughs> So 
So I've been walking around for like three hours, uh, finding a bunch of stuff that isn't Heresium. Uh, and I honestly didn't expect to find one. I found a bunch of Rushulas, I found a bunch of random stuff on logs, I found almost everything until I was just about to leave, like 100 feet away from where I get in my truck, and uh, here it is. Now this is Heresium coralloides. It doesn't look like the typical lion's mane, but it is a Heresium species, and that's exciting enough for me, so let's check it out. It has these long uh, teeth instead of gills, and it kind of has these cath cascading spines, they call them. Um, and this one's pretty small, and this one's pretty dirty, uh, but it is heresium, so that is uh, very cool and very exciting. So let's harvest it here and see what, see what it looks like. The major difference between something like lion's mane or heresium americanum and this one, which is, I'm pretty sure it's Heresium coralloides, is that it has these, um, I don't know what you'd call them, like arms, for lack of a better word. So Lion's Mane kind of has a snowball-like formation, where it just comes in one beautiful snowball-like formation, or pom-pom, as it's sometimes called, and then these teeth or spines kind of fall off of them. But this one, it has all of these branches, and the teeth come off those branches instead. So quite a different mushroom, but the same genus, and they are edible. There's an even better one on the other side of this log, so let's check that one out. Oops. So I just harvested this little bunch, and I just found a bunch more. So here again you can see, there it is right there. It's growing on this decaying log and it's growing kind of close to the ground where you can imagine it'd be nice and humid here in this little cove where it's growing and um, yeah look how beautiful that is and again you can see how this is uh, a lot different than what you would think of when you think of lion's mane but it still has those spines instead of the typical gills or pores you might see from other mushrooms and it's growing those spines off of these branches so, really nice looking mushroom. So these ones are pretty small, and again, you can see uh, this is quite a bit different than actual lion's mane, uh, but I'm still kind of blown away that I actually found some. Honestly, when I started recording this video, I came out here in the woods today, I haven't found uh, any heresium species here in at least a couple years. I didn't think I would see anything whatsoever, um, but I kind of took the risk and started filming this video you know, determined to go out and find some heresium. It's always so fun to find what you're looking for because when you're hunting for mushrooms, you gotta be willing to basically, most of the time, not find what you're looking for. This one's actually in pretty good shape um, and I might just go home and cook this one up even though it's uh, not much at all. It's not gonna make a meal, uh, but it's still kind of fun um, to harvest wild mushrooms and see what you can do with them. Good luck in your mushroom hunting adventures. And as always, if you're gonna be eating the mushrooms that you find, make sure you can properly identify them uh, and best bet is to hook up with your local mycological society or experts in your area. So thanks so much for watching. I'm Tony from Fresh Cat Mushrooms and we'll see you in the next video.